Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will have a short tour of Sichuan University's International Students Dorm and I'll show you in what conditions the international students live. If you are ready, let's go inside. <music> I live in eight block. There are actually uh, six floors in each block. I live on the second floor. Let's go. Oh, future rich women training center. That's the balcony where we dry our clothes. On the opposite side, you can see Chinese students' dormitory. This is kind of hall where we usually just sit and uh, enjoy ourselves, but now it's a little bit cold here because it's winter. We have also got two fridges. One is here and another one is there. Here is the bathroom. Here you can see three things and the water is mostly cold here. Here we have got our private washing machine that we have bought together with our roommates. And here you can see the shower. The hot water is available after 1 p.m. in the afternoon and works till the midnight. And you should use your student card to access the hot water. You just put it into there and then you can use the hot water. Here you can see a big closet with our names written on the stickers and we just keep some random stuff inside. Here is mine, I keep my washing liquids uh, on the shelf. We are finally entering the room which I share with three more girls. This is my personal table and here I spend most of my time doing my classes or just sitting and watching some uh, shows on my laptop. Here you can see a lot of shelves where I just keep my belongings and different stuff. Here you can find two hangers where you can hang whatever you want. And there are also kind of drawers. Uh, one, this is the second and this is the third one. And I think it's quite comfortable and you can put a lot of stuff inside. How about you guys? Do you think it's comfortable enough for you? Leave your opinion in the comments. The beds are located on the second floor and everyone has some kind of curtains to feel more secure and comfortable while sleeping. <laughs> this is the closet for clothes and kind of a ladder to go up to the bed. Each room has also got an air conditioner and you can control the temperature and all that stuff here. When we want to rewind the room, we just open the window and the view outside is just uh, the opposite building of International Students Dormitory. So the design is pretty the same for everyone, a table, a closet and a bed on the second floor. That is our friend Lama and everyone loves it. Each flat has also got free Wi-Fi. On the first floor of each block you can find public kitchen for overseas students. Let's go inside. It works from 7 a.m. till 11 p.m. Here you can see the microwave oven, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> next. Uh, here I can usually see students just sitting and chatting with each other. There is one common fridge. I'd better not open it. Uh, I don't know what is that. Cooker? Yes, I think it's a cooker. This. And there is a big toilet and bathroom as well but it's a little bit old and we'd better not go inside. <laughs> I think the rooms are closed. Yes, they 
are closed. It's like the structure is the same as other flats, uh, as other like, rooms. Just uh, the hall is for public kitchen. Oh, by the way, this is the timetable, as I said. It works from 7 till 11 and these are the rules. There is actually one more place I want to show you. That's the place where uh, the washing machines are located and uh, students can go there, pay around 4 yuan for 35 minutes and wash their clothes. We have our own washing machines in our room because we kind of bought it together with our roommates. But uh, if you don't have a washing machine, you should come here. Yeah, this is the laundry room. There are... Oh, wow! I have just seen these new ones. In the past, there were only three of them. Yeah, these are the washing machines. Uh, you gotta scan the QR code here. You can scan this QR code, then choose the time for how long you want to wash your clothes and then pay. And when your uh, clothes are washed, you can just get them and go back to your dorm. Here you can see intelligent laundry process and kind, kind reminders. Yes. A bad thing about laundry here is that you can randomly see some big cockroaches here at night, especially during summer. They are so, so big. But now I don't see them. Maybe it's because of winter or maybe because it's daytime, but whatever. You'd better buy the washing machine yourself. It doesn't cost uh, a lot. The smallest one, like average one, I think, costs around 300 something yuan and it's okay. And you don't have to come here all the time and the same with fridge if you buy a small fridge in your dorm uh, for your room it's going to be mm, quite good and of course you can see many bicycles motorcycles scooters they are private and some of them even don't have the hosts because uh, they kind of left it during covid and still didn't come back there is such machine also where you can buy some snacks, beverages and whatever. But I don't know how to use it, unfortunately. I think it's easy, but still. That's the place where you can find some shoe shoes or IE sitting. And if you have some problems, if you forgot your keys or whatever, you can just come here, approach them and they will give you what you need. And that's the exit. That's it friends, our tour ends here. What do you think about the dormitory? Would you uh, live in such place? And what do you think about the price, about the conditions? And please leave your opinion down in the comments. I'll be very, very happy to read them all. And see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.